My name is April Erickson and I am an instrument manager. My formal title is a deputy instrument manager for the ISAT Atlas instrument. It's a huge instrument. It has um, two lasers. Um, they're for redundancy, meaning that if one fails, you have a backup. Um, but it provides a laser beam that passes down to the ground through various optics to the ground and bounces back up off the surface of the polar ice. And very closely, you're able to look at that distance that goes from the spacecraft down to the ground and back up. And then you can tell as you pass back over how much it's changed in that short duration. As an instrument manager, I have many responsibilities and it's mainly to manage resources. And resources are many things. Um, people don't often think of people as resources. It's helping the um, product delivery leads, which are the people, the engineers primarily who build the hardware, helping them to be able to deliver their hardware on time. And then there's the budget, so you have a plan that you try to maintain and keep in line with. And while you're doing that, you try to keep things on track and on schedule. So you're budgeting your financial budget as well as a time budget or plan. But primarily, it's a job of communication. The exciting part is, one, the science. Um, the, the opportunity to under some, understand something like global warming. If ice changes, that has the, uh, it has an impact to vegetation. It has an impact to sea levels rising, um, which could either change either having droughts or flooding. Education is a passion for me, but I really think it's important to keep up sort of the cadre of junior, junior people coming up behind us to continue to fill the ranks for Americans and to help us to remain prominent in delivery of science and technology. I always say shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll still be amongst the stars. And of course, some people be really literal and say, well, you might be very far away from the stars. But realistically, what I'm saying is shoot for high things and high goals. And um, you may not always achieve exactly what you want, but you'll achieve something because you really shot for something very lofty.